These are normal mammalian cells, genetically engineered with a bioluminescent gene taken out of deep sea jellyfish. We all know that some uh, deep sea creatures glow. Well, they've now taken that gene, that bioluminescent gene, and put it into mammal cells. These are normal cells, and what you see here is these cells glowing in the dark under certain wavelengths of light. Once they could do that with cells, they could do it with organisms. So they did it with mouse pups, kittens. And by the way, the reason the kittens here are orange and these are green is because that's a bioluminescent gene from coral, while this is from jellyfish. They did it with pigs. They did it with puppies. And in fact, they did it with monkeys. And if you can do it with monkeys, though the great leap in trying to genetically manipulate is actually between monkeys and apes, if they can do it in monkeys, they can probably figure out how to do it in apes, which means they can do it in human beings. In other words, it is theoretically possible that before too long, we will be biotechnologically capable of creating human beings that glow in the dark. And in fact, right now, in many states, you can go out and you can buy bioluminescent pets. These are zebrafish. They're normally black and silver. These are zebrafish that have been genetically engineered to be yellow, green, red, and they are actually available now in certain states. Other states have banned them. Nobody knows what to do with these kinds of creatures. There is no area of the government, not the EPA or the FDA, that controls genetically engineered pets. And so, some states have decided to allow them, some states have decided to uh, ban them. Some of you may have read about the FDA's consideration right now of genetically engineered salmon. The salmon on top is a genetically engineered Chinook salmon uh, using uh, a gene from the salmon and from one other um, fish that we eat to make it grow much faster using a lot less feed. And right now, the FDA is trying to make a final decision on whether, pretty soon, you could be eating this fish. It'll be sold in the stores. And before you get too worried about it, here in the United States, the majority of food you buy in the supermarket already has genetically modified components to it. So even as we worry about it, we have allowed it to go on in this country, much different in Europe, without any regulation and even without any identification on the package. These are all the first cloned animals of their type. So in the lower right here, you have Dolly, the first cloned sheep, now happily stuffed in a museum in Edinburgh. Ralph the rat, the first cloned rat. Cece the cat for cloned cat. Snuppy, the first cloned dog. Snuppy for Seoul National University puppy, created in South Korea 